Okay, so last time we solved um, systems of equations by substitution. Today we're going to solve them by elimination. So elimination is when you add or subtract equations um, so that one of the variables is eliminated. Once that happens, we are still going to use substitution to um, find the complete solution. Okay, so take a look at this one. What you want to do first of all is two things. First, make sure your x's are aligned in one column, your y's are aligned in one column, and the numbers are aligned in one column. After that, for either the x's or for the y's, you want to see that your coefficients are the same number but opposite sign. So for example, you see here for the y's, the coefficient is negative 5, positive 5, that's the way we want it to be. So what we're going to do now is we're going to add these. So 3x plus 2x is 5x. Negative 5y, positive 5y, that goes away. Equals negative 16 plus 31, that's 15. Now divide by 5, divide by 5, x is equal to 3. Once you do that, you're going to take the 3, plug it into either of the equations, any one, it doesn't matter which one, in order to get y. So let's do the first one. 3x minus 5y is equal to negative 16. 3 times 3 minus 5y is negative 16. 9 minus 5y equals negative 16. Minus 9, minus 9 negative 5y equals negative 25, y is 5. So my solution, 3 comma 5. Okay, next. So take a look at here. I have negative 3x, positive 3x. I can add these, the x's go away. So the y's, 4 minus 6, negative 2y is equal to 30, y equals negative 15. Okay, let's plug it into one of the equations. Let's do the first one. Negative 3x plus 4 times negative 15 equals 12. Minus 3x minus 60 equals 12. Add 60 to both sides. And go ahead and use your calculator on these. Make sure the calculations are correct. Negative 3x equals 72. X is negative 24. So my answer is negative 24, negative 15. Okay, here, look at the coefficients. I have a 4x and a 4x, but I really want one of them to be negative. So let's multiply this entire thing by a negative. So the first equation will remain unchanged. Here we multiply each one of these by a negative. So it's negative 4x, positive 3y equals negative 18. X's go away. 5y is 10. Y is 2. So let's plug it into the first one. 4x plus 2 times 2 equals 28, 4x plus 4 is 28, minus 4 on both sides, 4x is 24, x is 6, so it's 6 comma 2. So what happens is we are starting out by elimination and then afterwards there is still a little bit of substitution, but this process is called elimination because that's how we start out. Okay, here too, look, I have negative n, negative n. I'm going to multiply this one by negative 1. So, 5m minus n equals 7. Here, I'm going to multiply the negative to every single one. And you see how I draw the arches like that? That reminds me, multiply to the first one, and you get negative 7m. Second one, you get positive n. Third one, you get negative 11. 
often students will forget, you know, um, like the second and the third. So the n's go away. Negative 2m is equal to negative 4. m is 2. Okay, let's use the first equation again. 5 times m, which is 2, minus n equals 7. 10 minus n equals 7. Negative n equals negative 3. n is 3. And if it's m and n, we got to go in alphabetical order, 2 comma 3. Okay, next one. Sometimes we're not as lucky and we don't have the same coefficients. That means you have to multiply one of them by a different number. Like take a look at this one. I have 2x, 3x, negative y, positive 4y. Okay, they have opposite sign but not the same number. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply this top one by 4 so that this one becomes negative 4y. Okay, this is, you know, using the multiplication property. So let's do that. Let's multiply both sides of the first equation by 4, right? So 4, 4. So when we multiply, 4 times 2x is 8x. 4 times negative y, negative 4y. 4 times 6, 24. And so now, let's rewrite that down here. Look at what happened. Here, I have the coefficients that I want. Same number, opposite sign. These go away when I add. I have 11x equals 22. X is 2. Okay? And then I continue in the same way, um, right? Plug it in, solve for y. Okay? All right, so let's do another one here. All right, so take a look. I have 2x, 7y, 1x, and 5y. So what I want to do is I want to make this x a negative 2x. So I'm going to multiply this entire thing by negative 2. First equation stays the same. Second equation gets multiplied through by negative 2. Please don't forget, three terms need to be multiplied. So negative 2x, negative 10y, negative 2. Negative 3y is, oops, what happened? Oh, no, sorry, this is negative 4. Oh, my gosh. Even I messed up. So this is negative 3. Okay, so y is equal to 1. Now, take the y. I'm going to plug it into one of my equations. It could be this one. 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 This last one here, right, I'm solving for x, right? You see how x is alone? It has a coefficient of 1. It's easiest to plug it into that one. Of course, any of them will give you the right answer. I just choose to plug it into this one. So x plus 5 times y, y is 1, is 2. Minus 5, minus 5, x is negative 3. So I get negative 3 comma 1. Okay. Here, I want to make this 3 into a negative 6, so multiply everything by negative 2. First equation remains unchanged. Second equation, oops, sorry. Second equation, negative 6x, positive 14y, positive 38, 12y, equals 48, y equals 4. Okay. Um, I think I'm just going to plug it into the first one. So 6x minus 2 times 4 equals 10. 6x minus 8 equals 10. 6x is 18. x is 3. I get 3 comma 4. Okay. Here. Okay, so let's multiply. Ooh, okay, so this one's a little bit tougher. 
right? Because none of them, um, you know, like we can, they're not the same, right? So for this one, we can't get away with multiplying one equation. We have to multiply both of the equations. So you have to decide which numbers you want to get rid of. Do you want to get rid of the X's or do you want to get rid of the Y's? I'm going to choose to get rid of the Y's. So I have to multiply them by numbers in order to make them the same number. So I'm going to make the 4 and the 3 into 12, right? That's a common number. So I'm going to multiply the top by 3, the bottom by 4, and they will still have opposite sign. So 9x, 12y equals negative 75, 8x minus 12y equals 24. See how these went away? Positive 12, negative 12. So when I add the x's, I get 17x equal to negative 51. Divide by 17, x is negative 3. Okay, so let's plug it into the second one this time. Why the second one? Just because. So 2 times negative 3 minus 3y equals 6. Negative 6 minus 3y equals 6, plus 6, plus 6, negative 3y equals 12, y equals negative 4. That's what I get. Okay? All right. Here. I want to get rid of the x's. So I want to make both of these 12. So I'm going to multiply the top one by 3. Now that gives me a 12x, but the bottom one by negative 2, so I get a negative 12x. Okay, so 12x, remember to multiply all 3, plus 21y equals 18. Negative 12x minus 10y equals negative 40 goes away, 11y equals negative 22, y is negative 2, okay, 4x plus 7 times negative 2 equals 6, 4x minus 14 equals 6, 4x is 20, x equals 5, so I get 5 comma negative 2. All right, almost done. So here, oh, look, this one's easy, right? Because we have negative th 3, positive 3. So I add 6x equals negative 6, x equals negative 1. Plug it into the first one. I get negative 4 minus 3y equals negative 22, negative 3y equals negative 18, y equals 6. Okay, here I'm going to multiply, well before I do that, the top one by negative 2. So minus 4x, positive 8y, negative 26. Second one remains unchanged. So I get 3y equals negative 18. y is negative 6. Okay, so here let's go to the bottom one. 4x minus 5 times negative 6 equals 8. 4x plus 30 is equal to 8 minus 30, minus 30, 4x is negative 22, divide by 4, x is negative 22 over 4, but I have to simplify that to 11 over 2, and okay, so I got a fraction for that one, is that okay? Of course it's okay, we don't discriminate. Okay, so last but not least, two more. Okay, so this one, I'm going to multiply the top one by negative 3. So I'm actually going to write these on the bottom. 
negative 6x, negative 9y equals negative 15. 6x positive 9y equals 15. Oh my gosh, look at what happens. 0 equals 0. That's a true statement. This is infinitely many solutions. Right? So it happens here too. Here, I have a problem because my x's and y's are not aligned. Let's align them. So for the first one, I have y plus 4x equals 12. The bottom one, I have a 3y. I have to bring the 12x over to this side. So plus 12x equals 8. Okay. So now, what am I going to do here? I'm going to multiply this top one by negative 3. So I get negative 3y minus 12x negative 36, 3y, 12x equals 8, 0 equals negative 28. This is not a true statement, so it's no solution. Okay, this is here by mistake. This is not your homework. Your homework is a worksheet. It's on my jack. It's um, 3.1 part two okay make sure you do the correct one um for tomorrow morning all right bye everyone